Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another video and in this one I want to do a little challenge where I make Tropical House in 20 minutes from scratch. Now it's not gonna be easy but I think we can do it. Also this video is brought to you by Skillshare. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about them later in the video but now let's get started with the song. I'm not gonna bore you with the intro so let's just get right into it. So here's my timer set for 20 minutes and we are off okay so let's get started um i'm gonna start with the piano i think feels like that's the best way to get started and let me just find a good preset i'm gonna use nexus because it has the fastest access to sounds that i want so just go with this grand piano and let's start with some chords so the bpm at one five or something like that and let's just go thinking maybe like this okay maybe that will be good uh, so those are my bass notes let me copy them right over here and create some chords and put this like octave down yeah I'm liking this. And let me just do a little fill here. Yeah, that's the chords. So yeah, those are my chords right there. Okay, now let's hit it with some melody or drums. Uh, let's go with drums and I'm gonna go to my pack called Big Fat Christmas Bundle, where I think I have a cool tropical house pack as well. So yeah, uh, let me just check it out. And let's make a simple drum beat. And uh, Should we go like the classic or maybe something like this? Let's also add a pre-shifted clap here. Just uh, move it over here.
Okay, of course it's terrible right now. Let me just put some reverb on this clap. And make the kick way louder. And probably go with this rhythm. Yeah, that's probably better. And put like the reverb on these clubs as well. Maybe try some different kicks. Because. Okay, one thing we need to do is sidechain this piano because without it, I have no idea how it actually sounds. So let me use my preset that I created a while before. Okay, something like that. Put some reverb on the piano. Okay, sounds better. Maybe we can do 110 BPM. Something like this, 16. Um, change the kick. This one is probably the best. Maybe we can uh, take off some of the high end on this one. Make it louder. Okay, let's see the time. Um, 12 minutes left. 13 actually. Pause. Let's talk a little bit about our sponsor today, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online platform where you can, you guessed it, learn some new skills. Now you can learn pretty much anything here, but we are probably most interested in music. And if you click music right off the bat, there's this new class called Intro to Improvisation by Charles Cornell. And it's a great class if you want to learn more about making melodies on the spot, just making whatever comes into your mind and putting it in your dough, in your computer. So of course, it's better to learn this class if you have a keyboard, but even if you don't, you can still learn some new things. That being said, the first thousand people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And you can pretty much get access to all of these classes on Skillshare. So you can watch this one, but if it's not something for you, you can just watch another one. If we search for FL Studio, you'll see there is a tons of classes specifically designed to teach you how to use FL Studio and how to get going as far as music production goes. So yeah, check out the link below and get that free trial. And if you want to continue your subscription, it can go as low as $10 a month. So yeah, check it out. Now let's get back to the video. Mm, let's actually do the bass now. Now I'm thinking using silent here. And I have like a new pack coming up and I have some cool bass sounds. So I'm going to use this Kygo bass. That's fitting for this video. Let me just get it started. Now let's take these bass notes. Copy them over here. Just so we have the idea what notes we need. And let's do some of these filler roll notes.
Okay, sounds pretty good. Uh, let me just put sound good is on it because we don't have time for anything else. And also the same sidechain preset in here as well. Maybe we start actually higher with this one. So we have more of that attack still in place. Okay, let's hear how it sounds. Okay, I think we need another bass. Uh, maybe this one could be like in the higher frequencies. So we're gonna delete the sub bass from this sound. But let's add another one that will be more of a sub bass only. So I'm gonna take Nexus and maybe the sub. Okay, definitely too low. So let's put it octave higher. Okay, let's put the whole song like two octaves and uh, two keys down. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do transpose minus two. And let's hear how it sounds now. Okay, sounds a bit better. Uh, let me just get this in here. Uh, maybe actually one key up. Sometimes it's really important to get the key right. Okay, this one is pretty good. Uh, we have eight minutes left, so let's take a look at the melody. So, um, let's go to Tropical House again. Where is it? Right here, go to plucks. Okay, this one is pretty good. And actually one thing we need for the drums is some tambourines. So let me get those in there as well. And uh, this one doesn't have that. Okay. Okay, it's always good to have those. Uh, what did I just do? I changed this sound. Okay, problem there. It was this one. Let me create new Nexus for the melody. So I accidentally changed the bass to a plug, but it should be good now. Okay, sounds pretty good. Now let's create a melody.
or something like that. That's the melody right now. Uh, do we have everything going the correct order? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's change the melody in the second repetition. Something like that. Uh, let me just improve the melody a bit. Maybe add another layer. <laughs> oh, this is off. Okay. Basically trying to make one layer of the sound stereo and the other one stays the same. Also not sign chain, so let's do that as well. Uh, I think we want this sign chaining on it. So far, so good. Um, let's uh, duplicate this to like reverse sweeps as well, like so. Mm, zoom in. Okay, what needs changing? So the piano, I think, could use some more work. So let me like, change the frequencies. that. Okay, we need some like random effect. We have one minute, so not too much time here. Um, do effects. Let put limiter on it. The whole thing. I put like a little bit of gain, and I want like some vocal in the background. Not sure if I have time for that. The vocal needs to be in B. So, uh, okay. Way. Okay, let's try this one and put like a huge amount of reverb on it and low dryness. 
maybe and also root it here not sure if that's gonna work well for us okay <laughs> the sound you heard was the end of the timer so we are pretty much done and let's hear the finished results now shall we uh, I wish I had a little bit more time, but this was it. And I think we made a pretty good like main idea of a song. So let me just move it and let's preview it. And let me just put this as a starting point. Okay. That's actually not bad. I like it. I like the result and I think if we work on it a little bit more we could actually turn this into a proper song. Anyways, that will be it for this video. I hope you learned something new even though this wasn't a proper tutorial. You could still see the whole process of creating a little song. And make sure to check out our sponsor today which is Skillshare and get those two months for free, you know. Definitely a good deal. That will be it for this video and as always I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.